All right, uh, what's going on guys? Uh, Moxification here. So today uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set up uh, Infernus to get your JTAG or RGH online. Uh, so to start off, um, basically I just wanted to explain uh, really quickly that um, I already did a video on this a while ago, about maybe a couple of weeks ago. Um, but Infernus went from being a free service to being a paid service. And I wanted to update you guys on that and sort of go a bit more in depth. So... Uh, yeah, with like the tutorial and everything, and hopefully it helps people, you know. So, um, I mean, it's not really that difficult to set up anyway, but I just I thought I'd do it again just because, you know, the update. And uh, like I said, I wanted to go a bit more in depth with the tutorial just to get a bit more detailed and try and make it a little bit more like e easy for you guys to follow if you if you're new to this, you know. So uh, to start off, what you want to do is you want to um, go to the XPLSE uh, website. So. Uh, right now, it's uh, if you go to the xplse.com uh, website, it's just xplse.com. That will redirect you to the Infernus website. I prefer to just type in the xplse.com because it's quicker but instead of typing in i.nfern.us. Uh, I'll just link it in the description anyway, so you guys can come to it. Uh, what you want to do is you want to buy time. Uh, if you just go in the IRC chat, they'll tell you what to do there. It's really easy, really simple to buy time. Um, so yeah, just go in the IRC chat, which is this. If you just click uh, connect, um, it might be a bit different. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, if you just click connect, they'll tell you what to do, and you'll be able to buy time there. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to make sure you're on the latest update, which is one seven four eight nine, uh, and then you want to download Infernus. So uh, yeah, so download. Uh, there you go, and then find it. Show in folder. Uh, there it is. So I'm gonna extract that to the desktop right there um then you want to get an unbanned kv make sure you've got an unbanned kv i've got one in the kv checker right now i know it's unbanned but i'm just going to show it that it's unbanned uh, for the video which is going through the kv checker right now and there you go unbanned and then it says kv kv right there and then log unbanned so yeah we're going to get the kv put that on the desktop as well like that uh, so yeah, so I'm going to be using Neighborhood for this video, uh, because it's a lot easier than using the USB, because the U I, I just think a USB is so much longer to, like, transfer stuff, and it's just, Neighborhood for me is so much quicker, so basically anything I do with Neighborhood, um, you should be able to follow with the USB, it's not that difficult to compare them to, uh, you know, compare the two, um, but, uh, basically... Um, if you don't have Neighborhood set up, I'll put a video link in the description to one of my videos on how to set up Neighborhood or XDK, you know, um, and that way you guys will be able to use it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to open up Neighborhood, I'm going to go into JTAG, I'm going to go into Retail Hard Drive Emulation, then we're going to put uh, these two files uh, in the root of the hard drive. Um, I think I've already got a KV in there, so it's going to come up. Uh, replace uh, so yeah re uh, yes to all it's going to replace them so now they're going to be in there um, then what you want to do is you want to get your launch to a and i and now I if you were using a usb then you could just edit your launch to a and i um, but if you don't edit your if you don't know how to edit your launch to a and i um, then you can just edit the plugins in dash launch you should know how to do that now if you don't know how to do that um, then i recommend editing the plugins uh, with launch to a and i um, and I did do a video on that as well, if you want to do that, but I'm going to show you here anyway. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to minimize the uh, neighborhood. I'm going to open up the launch to a &I, uh, which is basically just a notepad. Uh, we're going to scroll down to the plugins, which is here. So as you can see, there's Infernus. That's what you want to have. You want to have an Infernus um, plugin set there. So you, like, you might have um, a fully all up. You might have all full up. You know, you might have... Um, all of the plugins full up you might have one two three four but you want to replace one of them if there's nothing there then you want to put you, you want to make sure you got xbdm and infernus um because xbdm obviously has is the neighborhood because yeah um and then infernus is number two I, I i'm not sure if you can actually have infernus as number one or anything else you probably can but i have it as number two anyway so uh, yeah, so you want to make sure that's all saved and everything's good, and then uh, you can exit out of that and everything's good there. So uh, then all you want to do is put the launch to INI back on the hard drive, and in uh, the USB case, all you do is put the launch to INI and the Infernus and the KV on a USB, put that in your Xbox, go in XCX menu, and then just transfer the stuff, you know, and that's it. Uh, so once you've done that, all you want to do is reboot your Xbox. Now um, I'm going to turn my Xbox off 
I know you haven't seen my Xbox yet, so in a minute I'm going to open up the whole patch capture so you can see what's going on. Now, uh, what will happen is um, the Xbox might reboot a couple of times. It might reboot maybe three times, up to three times. It could even be four times. Um, and the reason is it's uh, basically like set in the KV. It's put in the KV on your console um, and it, it happens. So right now my console's coming on. It's loading up the dashboard and then in a second it will just it will turn off. Um, and that's fine, nothing's gone wrong, everything's good, uh, it just turned off just then, it turned on, turned off, um, and it might only do it once, and that's fine if it only does it once, um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, it's coming on again, I think, I don't think it will reboot again, but it, it might reboot one more time, uh, it's only rebooted itself once so far, but, uh, in, in previous occasions it's rebooted itself three times. Uh, it just rebooted itself again, so that's the second time, uh, and then it's just coming back on now. Uh, normally it comes on it by its own, but sometimes you might have to uh, turn it on um, manually. Uh, but yeah, so it's coming on now. Uh, it might reboot one more time, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, so it looks like it's coming on. Uh, I think I'm going to open up the capture card because it, it seems like it's coming on. There you go. So yeah, so it's it's actually on right now. I'm on the dashboard right now. Uh, you'll see the welcome message for the purge, which is a menu, a GTA menu, not uh, Infernus. So if you get to this stage and you're on the dashboard and it says connect to Xbox Live, you might think you've done it wrong. Now all you've got to do is um, make sure that the Infernus plugin thing comes up saying Infernus loaded, um, and then it might come up with uh, how much time you've got remaining. Um, I've got one day and 11 hours 30 minutes uh, and then if nothing else comes up then all you want to do is go to settings go to system go to network settings and then click on uh, wired network or wireless depending on what one you are on uh, and then just do test Xbox live connection and then it will sign you out and then everything will be good uh, it will go from uh, from network to uh, internet to Xbox live and everything will be connected now, if your KV is banned, then it will do Xbox 360 to network, um, and then internet to Xbox Live will fail. It will say, you know, your console banned, um, and that all that means is you're going to have to get a new KV, and you can buy KVs. I think there is actually um, a place to buy KVs on the XBLSE website. But yeah, so as you can see, it just said Infernus active, and I'm connected to Xbox Live, and service up. Xbox stores is service alert which is nothing to do with um, Infernus and then uh, accounts up matchmaking up and everything's connected uh, so yeah so uh, that's gonna be about it um, I'll link yeah I'll leave any download links and stuff and I'll leave any uh, links in the description um, so uh, yeah uh, so thanks for watching um, leave a like if it helped I guess um, and I will see you guys in the next video uh, yeah uh, goodbye.